here with Richie Porter, the ASP head judge. He's been good enough to join us. We're going to talk uh, first up just a little bit about judging in general, and then we're going to get stuck into the criteria for Rio. Rich, thanks for joining us, mate. No worries, Ronnie. Pleasure to be here. Just looking back, best heat that you think you've ever judged? Oh. Where was it? <laughs> oh, there's so many. So many. Uh, goodness me. No, I can't. There's, there's, I couldn't pick one. Not one standing out? No, there's like there's a whole bunch that are right there together, and to pick one over the other, I think, no, nah, because the the very next event you go, you get another one that's just as crucial. Like last year at Pipe was a day of days. Let's let's be honest there. Um, out of the 13 heats that we ran that day, Joel and Kelly were in eight of them separately, and each time they got through a heat, the the pressure went up for those guys, and it also went up for us as well. So that was a that was a day pressure that was a great day it was for sure mate the uh the brazil event obviously a very big one this seems like a, a good time to touch on the claims uh <laughs> obviously a lot of people out there the fans watching believe that guys are trying to juice their scores by throwing a claim at the end do you guys just chuckle at the claim well, sometimes up in the booth the thing that we do is sometimes we might cringe at a claim because we know the score that's coming and it's nowhere near claim worthy so it's, it's quite interesting that it's gone from the odd claim that used to happen when the wave a surf would get an amazing ride to now it's almost to the point where you just give yourself a little mini claim even if you make the ride and, and we ignore it like all the stuff that goes on around the contest um, you, if you walk up into the judges booth while it's happening you'll see five robots pretty much sitting there just worried about what the surfing is not about the claim or the crowd or any other influences that are happening to the people watching it, we just sit there and ignore all that. And the claims are doesn't doesn't bother me. I get a lot of comments. Like, can't you stop them from doing it? And it's like, well, no, they're enjoying themselves, and it has no reflection on what we do for sure. No, no demerits for uh, no. throwing out a, <coughs> a cringeworthy claim. No, either either or. We we just it's the ride's done. Whatever they want to do after it, it's a, it's irrelevant. I've really noticed in the uh, <coughs> the the last couple of years just how critical. Uh, the judging has gotten of the air reverse. It, mm. it has become a standard manoeuvre, and um, there seems to be a couple of things that you know you guys are really looking for, even before we get into sort of the technical grabs and whatnot mm. that you guys want to see in an air reverse if someone's going to mm. execute one these days. What are those couple of uh, things that you'd like to? Well, the first thing to see is uh, is definitely the height. The height, if it's a if it's not very high, it's it's like well, okay, whatever. Um, where they're launching from because you're out on the flats, it's, it doesn't rate either, so it's, it comes down to the critical section. And also with the landing, um, we've tidied it up a lot with, you've got to land clean, you know, you land a bit wobbly and, and almost fall, we adjust mentally for that and the scores reflect that. So you watch the ones where the guy, and, and the really good ones, if you see them, we don't see them very often. We saw one last year, which the surfers voted as the manoeuvre of the year, and that was Kelly's one at Bells, which we gave a 10. And in the end of the year, it turned out that his peers said that was the best thing they saw all year. Let's just let's just touch <coughs> on that for a second. You know, like you just mentioned, then Kelly getting a ten for one manoeuvre. Mm. Um, it doesn't seem to happen too often. And is that now become something that you're, you know, even less likely to do after Kelly scored a ten? Does it have to be something pretty much like the turn of the year if you're going to throw that out? And and for sure. And as we saw, we have the the ten events, and there was that his score, which once what I said before, you know, his peers said that was the best thing they saw all year. And so that's a benchmark for that side of, sort of surfing. And uh, yes, a lot easier to throw the one manoeuvre here because the wave's so short. And, and we copped a little bit of flack at, for Bells because it's a long point ride, but it was such an amazing manoeuvre. You know, in this day and age, I, I think, you know, everyone who's uh, out there performing a role or basically, you know, competing or whatnot, is uh, open to some pretty gnarly criticism <coughs> online in the forums and whatnot. Just, what do you think the biggest misconception is uh, uh, about the judging? I think the biggest one is that people think that we have a vested interest in either a surfer or a company or um, a country man, fellow countrymen, whereas we're not apathetic about it, but we just, we're that blase about, uh, we don't care if it's the number one seed, the trial guy, the number one surfer in the world. All we care about is the right surfer winning the heat. And that's probably where we get that interracial sort of argument going, oh, of course, you know, for instance, of course it's 
in Brazil, so a Brazilian's going to win, or of course it's a billabong event, so a billabong surfer wins. And well, our job is to score you. We don't really care what your persuasion is in religion, where you're from, who you surf for, whatever you do. All we care about is how you're surfing, and, and that's where it all stems from. Beautiful. All right, well, Rich, we really appreciate you joining us, and we'd love to get you in halfway through this event and just uh, get an update on judging and how the yep. things are rolling out. Yeah, no, in any, any time when I'm not up there scoring away, happy to come and join in. Thank you, mate. Thank you.